Who doesn't love chocolate? I guess almost everybody of us does, right? But do you guys really know how chocolates are made? Today in this video, I will tell you how big industries make chocolate. Humans have been producing chocolate for over 4,000 years now. The process of making chocolate begins with the harvesting of cacao pods. Cacao trees produce large and colorful pods that contain cacao beans and amp. They simply don't just fall to the ground, so they are cut from the trees manually. Now these pods are meant to be cut, and cacao beans are meant to be separated from a sticky white pulp. It's not an easy job for sure. After the harvesting process is complete, these cacao seeds need to be fermented. For these, the beans and the pulp are placed in a special fermentation box, which is covered with banana leaves. This process is to kill bacteria and to take off the white pulp, and it also gives the signature brown color. The beans are dried in the sun to reduce moisture. Proper drying is essential to prevent mold and to ensure the beans have the desired flavor. After this process, the beans are sent to factories where they are properly checked by quality assurance officers. Once the beans are approved, then they are prepared for cracking and winnowing. These processes ensure the separation of the shells from the inner nibs. The nibs are the edible part of the cacao bean. The cacao beans are ground into a thick, liquid substance known as chocolate liquor, which smells like alcohol. This liquor is essentially a paste of cacao solids and cacao butter. The grinding process generates heat, which causes the cocoa butter to melt and blend with the cacao solids, forming a smooth, thick paste. This gives the actual color of the chocolate. The chocolate liquor is further refined through a process called conching, Conching is a long process of intense mixing, agitating and aerating heated liquid chocolate. During this long process, various off-flavored and bitter substances as well as water vapor evaporate away from the chocolate and give it a smooth texture. Other substances are added to give flavor and to reduce any remaining bitterness. To ensure that the finished chocolate has a shiny appearance and a smooth texture, it needs to be tempered. This process involves specialized controlled cooling and reheating of the chocolate to have a nice, glossy finish. The specific ingredients and proportions used in the chocolate-making process can vary depending on the type of chocolate being produced like dark chocolate, milk chocolate, or white chocolate. Additionally, other ingredients like sugar, milk solids, and flavorings are added to create different types of chocolate products. The tempered chocolate is poured into molds to create various chocolate products such as bars, bonbons or other shapes. The molds are then left to cool, allowing the chocolate to solidify. Once the chocolate has cooled and solidified in its desired shape, it is removed from the molds and packed. Packing or foiling allows the chocolate to remain fresh. Now these final products are sent to stores for sale by companies. Hope you liked the video and if you find this video interesting, please subscribe to my channel.